Hey everybody, this is Anthony from Into the Dark Room, and I'm going to show you a little bit about your setup tab where you can add watermarks and your social networking icons and some other items as well. So when we log into the back of our admin of our website, we're going to click the setup tab at the top. And the first tab we're going to go over is the settings tab. So the first thing that you can do in here is you can add a favicon file. So if you have your favicon file, all you have to do is click upload new, and you can add the file right there. Um, if you don't have a favicon file and you want to create one, you can go ahead and click this link and it'll take you over to the area where you can create a favicon file. The second item here is the site name, so just go ahead and type in uh, the site name and um, it could be your photography studio, it could be your name, but this is what you're going to actually title the site. The next item is the browser title. So when your website appears and you have the little tabs in the browser, um, the way this is set up is you're going to go ahead and type this, you're going to type this first piece here. So you're going to title it like my studio name, whatever that is. Uh, you could put a little dash in and you're going to leave this part right here. And basically what that's going to do is it's going to set up the formatting for the browser title. So it's going to be my studio and then it's going to load in whatever page name that they're on. So if they're on the portfolio page or the about me page or whatever it is and that's, and that's the uh, formatting that's going to be in the browser title. Your meta tag description is 250 characters. Write something that is in uh, keyword stuffing. So you want to write something that is, when, when you're writing something for SEO, you want to make sure that you're writing it as if somebody's going to be reading it. So write a nice little paragraph about what you do and get in some of your SEO keywords and, and, and uh, items in there and go ahead and, and uh, plug that into that space right there. And then you have your meta tag keywords. And this is a, a comma separated keyword list. So you type in, one keyword, you hit the comma, type in another keyword, hit the comma. And then um, you can go ahead and add that up to 250 characters. And then you have, let's scroll down and go to the site footer text. So this is a great place to put in your copyright information. So copyright 2012, yada, yada, yada. And you can put your copyright information in there. That copyright information will appear um, at the bottom in the footer down here. And then you have your uh, analytics embed code. So if you're using Google Analytics and you copy the embed code, you can paste that right into this area and you can start tracking stuff. So now let's go down to these options. Uh, the first one is to use server-side resampling. Um, we recommend that you do this. It's a, it's a great way to save some bandwidth and, and save some processing power on your server. Um, what it does is it, it um, the server delivers different image sizes to the users based on their browser size. So you can go ahead and turn that on. And this resampling quality is really similar to when you're saving images in, in Photoshop, saving them web ready, and you have that toggle for the quality. So you can turn this up or down and it can actually save you bandwidth across the board. It's kind of like just shaving little, little bits of shaving little bits of bandwidth off all the images across the site. Um, we have this option to use Image Magic Library. I recommend it if you're on any of our host hosting recommendations. Um, they have it. If you have a server that doesn't have an Image Magic Library, obviously you can't use it. Um, but again, this is another another way to save uh, some processor uh, power on your server while it's um, while it's delivering the images. So it's it's a it's a great option to use. You go ahead and just come in here and click True. And then automatically sharpen resampled images. If you are using Image Magic Library, um, this will prevent your images from getting soft. You can turn on image letterboxing by clicking true so that all your images fit within, within the image area. Um, and if you want them to letterbox, you just click true. If you don't want them to letterbox, you click false. And then we now have the option to use clean SEO URLs. So since this is an HTML5 website, your URLs can appear as your .com forward slash about me. Um, or whatever your page title is. So if you want to have some cleaner URLs, you just come in here and you click true. And um, you cannot use this option if you're in temporary mode. So if you set up one of our sites in temporary mode, you're going to have to keep this off until you actually put it in its final place and then um, you can actually turn it on. This custom 404 page, you can actually go and create a page like an info page, type in your 404 information, and then you can use this drop down to link to one of those pages. So if you want to create a 404 page that has some specific text, you can go ahead and do that and link to it. And then this is the soundtrack default volume. So if you have music in, in your site and you want to have a default uh, volume, you can come in here and make it you know very low. Um, we, we normally set it to about 50%. Um, and then you have loop soundtracks. So you can turn 
turn on the loop whether uh, when the when the MP3s end if they're going to loop back to the first MP3, or you can have it just end altogether by clicking false. So that is the settings tab. Let's go to the watermarking tab. You can use watermarks in your website on your images by clicking true and then on the pages you can actually set it up to to use the watermarks or not so if you want to use it you just go ahead and click the true and you can upload an image here by clicking upload new and then um, when you grab like a logo or, or whatever it is that you're going to put in there to watermark you can determine where it is uh, through this x and y coordinate so you can just kind of move it up and down and left and right through uh, these little toggles here and then um, you can determine the watermark opacity so y if you want it to be 100% or if you want to um, lower the opacity you can do that through this toggle and we also have if you don't want to just use the the logo uh, you want something a little simpler you can just have it draw crosshairs and that'll actually draw uh, a really thin X through the entire image and so you would go ahead and click true and you can determine the color. White seems to work really well. Um, there seems to be some darkness on every image, so white seems to uh, appear the best. And then you can change the crosshair opacity, so you could make it less obvious or more obvious, depending on, on uh, what you like. And then you come down here and you click Save. And now let's go to the web services. And the web services deal with all the social uh, social media stuff. So the first thing that we have here is the touch icon and this is if somebody's going to be creating uh, an icon on their let's say iPad this is the graphic that you would upload um, so that they can do that so you would click upload new um, and then your Facebook share thumbnail so when somebody's sharing something on Facebook this is the this is the image that it would actually grab for Facebook. Now I think when you upload that stuff it takes about 24 to 72 hours or something for Facebook to actually start using it so if it doesn't if it doesn't start working right away give it a little bit more time. And then um, you have the use Facebook like button, tweet me button and Google plus one button and those all appear at the bottom here so if you turn them on you can go ahead and use them and then um, we have all the different social media uh, social networking items here so you can if you have an Etsy account or a Facebook account you just drop in the URL make sure you put the HTTP in there drop in the URL and then if the URLs are in there and you click save you can see them down in the footer here so the ones that you don't add won't appear the ones that you do add will appear so that is the setup tab in the back end I hope that kind of clarifies some of the options that you have go ahead and play around with it and if you have any questions don't hesitate to go to into the dark room and click on the support tab and let us know how we can help you thanks for watching take care